<laughs> and then something happened. And then I had to talk like this. And then I had to talk, then I became obsessed with Judeo Christian morality. And then I had to talk like this. And this is who I became. Oh my god, Ben. Because the Islamic religion never developed logic. They never developed logic. Question the subject of verification. I jacked off to Mr. Feeney. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. That's oh, why I yeah. talk like this. That's why I talk like this. I jacked off to Mr. Feeney. My I didn't have a, I didn't have a choice. Tits. My sister's tits were so big that I had to jack off to Mr. Feeney. <laughs> <laughs> I, was so, I, was so, I needed something to jack off to, and my sister walked by, and I saw her big tits, and it made me feel sick. So I went to my room, and I put on The Graduate. It was a very good movie. A very good movie about Judeo-Christian values. <laughs> and I picked the least sexy scene in the movie, the part where you can see Mr. Feeney's feet. And I jacked... <laughs> And I jacked off to that. I jacked off to that. I jacked off to that. Over and over. The Nissan sales event. (laughs) It's the Nissan sales event brought to you by Ben Shapiro. (laughs) Oh, my Uh, God. (laughs) Yeah, dude. I bet you. I mean, we we all wanted to fuck Topanga, though, right? Mm. What what race was she? Coconut? I think she was just a white girl with... Be yeah, rich. hippie parents. But they gave her name was supposed to be like what, like a like ethnically huge tits. Yeah. That's right. Her racist tits. racist fat titties. <laughs> Take me there, dude. I yeah. want to. I want to fucking get uh, shipwrecked and yeah, wash up my, on the Topanga. My Island. daughter Topanga B- Bazonga. <laughs> <laughs> Bazonga. Topanga coconut. Bazonga tigos. <laughs> What's she up to these days? I've I've tracked down. I think they tried to reboot it. Maybe? They did with he was like, oh and fuck, I don't have my, I don't have my phone. Mr. I was gonna be a professional. Put it in the other fucked room. Fucked in my ass. They fucked my ass. Not on my phone Mr. either. Mr. Feeney, Mr. Feeney, Mr. Feeney, Mr. And my, my favorite show is Boy Meets World, and I want a trip <laughs> to go all the way to the set. And Mr. Feeney fucked me in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you I must never told be him. a big fan. <laughs> That's a cute Why little you... hat you're wearing there, Mr. Shapiro. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call it? <laughs> it's called a yarmulke. <laughs> it's called a yarmulke, is it? Why don't you come into my trailer and you can tell me more about the yarmulke? <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. That, that sounds great. I get to meet Mr. Feeney. <laughs> Mr. Feeney, I'm a big fan of your feet. <laughs> <laughs> he's already getting hard as he's, go, as he's walking into the trailer. I don't understand what's happening. Why, why, why is my penis getting hard? Now, I hope you don't my mind if I, I pull down your suit. <laughs> I unbutton your, the Whoa. suit you wore here for some reason. <laughs> Put down your briefcase. Uh, you, you won the Meet Mr. Feeney contest, and so you wore a suit in You wore a, a yarmulke. suit in a yarmulke and brought a roller backpack for yeah. some reason. <laughs> you have a... Briefcase with wheels on it. <laughs> like you're at an airport. It doesn't make any sense. It's some, like somebody said, you know what's gay? A briefcase. How can we make it a little bit gayer? How can we make a briefcase gayer, Mr. Shapiro? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Shapiro. <laughs> yeah, and then he held gay. me down and he fucked me in the ass. And he held me down and he fucked me in my mouth. <laughs> 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 and then, and then oh, I became obsessed yeah. with Judeo Christian values. Very good, Mr. Yeah. Shapiro. <laughs> then, yeah. Just like that, Mr. Shapiro. Oh, you're the best you I've ever getting had. Getting skull fucked by Mr. Feeney. That's, 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 that's how you do it, Mr. Shapiro. His head hanging back off, his yeah. leg Ooh. upside down off a of bed. Throw that neck back for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in the neck, Mr. Shapiro. <laughs> Give it to me upside yeah. down, Spider-Man style, Mr. Shapiro. <laughs> Very good. Very good. <laughs> oh. And then he spit on my balls. And he put my balls in his ass. <laughs> Real quick. I'm one more thing, Mr. Shapiro. <laughs> There's one thing I'd like to do before you leave. <laughs> It would be a shame to waste such a trip if you won the contest. I'm going to put your little baby balls in my ass. <laughs> and it, I remember it hurting. It hurt. It hurt. Even though my balls were small. Getting fucked tight. in my ass wasn't as painful as having my nuts squeezed into Mr. Feeney's ass, which he somehow was able to flex and crush my nuts. <laughs> And that's, that's why, why I talk like that. That's, that's why. why, this why and I was never able to hit complete people. <laughs> I'm because not a my, Because my nuts were crushed. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I talked like this because Mr. Feeney crushed my nuts after, when I was 11. After a, uh, winning a contest, it wasn't a contest. I would just write in to correct the things on the show. <laughs> they, they called me the tidbit boy in the writer's room. The logical fallacy. Because I would, I, would, I would pay attention to what homework was assigned in the show <laughs> to Corey and then do the fictional homework myself and send it in to be graded by the writers <laughs> for extra credit and demanded that they write to my, my teacher at Jewish School of Judaism what? in Israel. <laughs> the Golda the Meir Beth, Jewish the, School the Beth Israel. Israel School of Jewish every Israel School, <laughs> which receives uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, fifty million dollars a year from the public school system, <laughs> redirected from the public from school the public system. school system, so that black kids can have lunch, <laughs> so, so that we can have extra computers. <laughs> Uh, anyway, that's why I talk like yeah. this. The school for extraordinary Jewish boys. <laughs> we God scored. Man. Oh my God, we scored. Nice. Adam's watching. I'm watching uh, Arsenal, Arsenal Liverpool. So the one day he puts his phone away, he's I got watching a, full match a soccer match. Listen, I can't believe it. Okay, there are two types of logic. <laughs> it's Yom Kippur. There's Yom Kippur logic. <laughs> And then <laughs> I didn't have anything for that. One. I was just trying to have the, where I wanted to end up is making a, Ben Shapiro making a declarative statement about what Mr. Feeney's penis tastes like, <laughs> and then defending it by saying you can make a reasonable assumption as to what Mr. Feeney's penis tastes like without actually having to have sucked Mr. Feeney's penis. <laughs> it doesn't prove anything just because I went into a fugue state and described Mr. Feeney's penis in detail. <laughs> The fact that I knew that it tasted like enoki mushrooms. Using, using Judeo-Christian logic, <laughs> it is entirely possible to create a, uh, uh, an argument through reason mm -hmm. to describe exactly what Mr. Feeney's penis <laughs> tastes, looks, and smells like. You didn't have any first-hand experience. I brought on a toddler to debate me about it. <laughs> You're yeah. not gay. <laughs> yeah. You suck, Mr. Feeney's I'm not. This interview is over. <laughs> Maybe if you actually read my book, you would know that he just made me put my balls in his ass. <laughs> you said you got skull fucked by him. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that part was retracted in a later edition of the book. It's miss so me. Miss me with that gay shit. That was an editorial error, which any author has afforded at least... 15 mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> it was an editorial error that I put in three whole chapters. Four, four and a half chapters describing getting fucked in the mouth by Mr. Feeney <laughs> describing his penis in detail was what is commonly known as a typo. Maybe you've heard of it. If not, I'd be happy to direct you to the Wikipedia page for typos. <laughs> ben Shapiro destroys baby that says he got raped by Mr. Feeney. <laughs> <laughs> you got raped by Mr. Feeney. <laughs> it's not rape; it was consensual, and it didn't even happen. <laughs> Mr. Feeney fucked your ass. I put my balls in his ass, which is a Judeo-Christian tradition. <laughs> it's a Judeo-Christian. It's a tradition. <laughs> Judeo Rishin. <laughs> it sounds like he turned out your boy Pussy. <laughs> I thought I was going to meet Topanga. <laughs> <laughs> Little did I know, I was going to get my balls put into I, Mr. Feeney's ass. I was planning, I was, 50, I was 17 years old, I was a young boy. <laughs> and I wrote into the show. A, new, a newborn 17 year old. I was fantasizing, I used to fantasize about holding hands with Topanga. And. What that would result in is the slightest amount of blood, an appropriate amount of blood, entering my penis, <laughs> which is not an erection, so it's not a sin. <laughs> I knew that I was never going to have an erection until I got married. <laughs> Are Jews not allowed to have premarital sex? Uh, I guess not. Who gives a shit? Yeah, who cares? <laughs> but instead of meeting Topanga, my balls were crushed. <laughs> By Mr. Feeney. In the principal's ass. Abnormally strong <laughs> asshole. Yeah. Much like Sandy Koufax, Mr. Feeney used to be an asshole pitcher. 